welcome back to Motion and Movements at Home Bar Class. For those of you just joining us, my name is Tarina, and we've just finished our floor section, and we're now going to go down onto the abs, upper body, and the stretching section. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the edge of your mat, feet flat, knees towards the ceiling, everything in line with your hips. We're going to take a nice deep breath up here, stretching through the upper back, and then as you exhale, curve the spine from the tailbone, all the way up the back, eye line comes down towards your pubic bone. Try not to really pull the neck down, it's just a nice curve for the, for the neck. Relax the shoulders down, you're about halfway down here, and then we're gonna lift all the way back up. So we're just finding a nice movement for the spine. Nice big inhale, and as you exhale, move from the tailbone first all the way up the spine, head, neck and shoulders come down, just a nice gentle curve, and then lifting back up, articulating back up through the spine. Let's do that two more times. Exhale down, think of really pulling the pubic bone up towards the nose, belly button goes back towards the back, and then lift. Nice big inhale, last one. Keeping those knees in line with the hips, make sure they don't move out to the side and then coming all the way back up to start. We're just gonna go about halfway from what you were doing before. So I'm used to a really, really small C curve here. When I really feel those abs lift, so think of bringing the pubic bone up towards your nose, and we have this curve underneath the lower back. The upper back stays fairly relaxed and fairly loose, so we're not curving everything in from the shoulders. <coughs> Excuse me. From here, we're gonna take both hands out in line with your shoulders. If you need the support, feel free to grab behind one thigh to hold your, give yourself a little bit of support here. Then take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, bring the ribcage across down towards the floor. Now you'll notice that my hands haven't gone completely off to the side. You want to think of them as extensions of your shoulders. So think of bringing the shoulders down with the ribcage rather than the arms back behind you. Come back to center and then twist towards the other side. Back to center and twist towards the other side. At the same time, I want you to become aware of what your knees are doing. So make sure that as you twist, your knees don't go forward and back on sort of a diagonal here. That's an indication that your pelvis is moving. And what we're really trying to achieve here is just a movement for the upper back. All right, so we're not moving everything down the spine. Rib cage moves, shoulders move, head goes with you. But everything from the belly button down stays nice and still. So you should feel a little bit of a cross-section engagement from the abs. Belly button is still pulling up, excuse me, pulling back. Pubic bone is pulling up towards your nose. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale. The more you breathe, the more space you create for your bones to move into those cavities. So we get a little bit more activation for the muscles. Last two. Last one. We're gonna hold this curve here towards the right. You're gonna extend the same leg, the right leg out, bring it back in towards you as you come back to center. Press down through the floor as you twist. So you create a little bit of downward pressure as you go out. And twist, and lift. Now this is an advancement, you do not have to take it. You can always come back just using the upper back, even just having one hand behind the knee here, behind the the leg, if you need that support. Last two. Last one. I'm gonna come back to center. Just a nice warm up there. Ooh, hello. And we're gonna come back to that position. So again, a fairly high C curve. We're not going all the way down towards the floor. From here, again, Hands are behind the thighs are optional if you need a little bit of modification. If your hip flexors or your back are going, oh, help me out, this is what you can do. Or you can grab a couple of pillows or a little ball, place it behind your back if you have that. We're going to take one leg up towards the ceiling. Try to keep it in line with the opposite knee. If you need to lower it down, feel free to move, um, move within your range of movement for that hamstring. But I really want you to think of using the abs, not just the hip flexor, not just the quad. Let's keep one hand behind this thigh here to start with. From here, we're gonna externally rotate from the top of the hip and then come back to center. Externally rotate, back to center. If you need that advancement, take the arm up and out 
and in. Working from the inner side all the way around into the glute. A little bit of quad, abs, a little bit of hip flexor. Out and in. Out and in. Let's go two more. Keep a nice stretch behind this knee. Think of reaching the heel forward and away. Come back to center. We're going to open the leg to the side. It does not need to travel far. Make sure that we're not letting the shoulders go in the opposite direction. So shoulders are staying still. Ooh, hello obliques. Back to center. Out we go. Back to center. Out we go. Back to center. I can really start to feel my quad now. And center. Last two. Keeping it nice and high on the same level. So we're not dropping or we're not getting any higher. And back. First side done. All right, let's go second side. So again, we find that foundation from the abs, all right? If you need that support, feel free to take it. Listen to your body and what it's telling you. We're gonna lengthen one leg up. Externally rotate, make sure it's coming straight from that hip. You should feel those inner thighs. In, out, in, out, in. Again, option. Even behind both knees, if you need uh, behind both legs, if you need a little bit more support. Four, three. If you have a little bend in your knee, absolutely fine. Just make sure that you're moving from the hip and not just the knee. Last two. Last one. Come back to center. We open to the side, staying absolutely still for the rest of the body, especially the supporting knee. Make sure it's not going out to the side. It's not about how far you can go. It's about how stable you can remain here in the pelvis and how consistent in height you can be. Three. Two. Keep relaxing the shoulders. Last one. And come back to center. And lift. All right, let's give the abs and the hip flexors a little break. From here, we're gonna take the fingers back towards your hips, facing in towards your hips. And we're going to take a couple of fist widths in between our hips and our fingers, so we're not completely hugging the body. We're going to bring the shoulders back, nice proud chest here. <laughs> we're going to bend through the elbows, send, uh, send the elbows back towards the, the wall behind you. Make sure that we're not sinking with the elbows forward or coming in with the shoulders. And lift. Down for two, lift and stretch. Down for two, lift and stretch. Now I know some of you can take the advancement, which is the hips off the floor, but for this particular sit, keep your hips on the floor. You'll see why later. Down and down, lift and lift. So we're still staying nice and straight between shoulders and hips. So you'll find your abs fire a little bit more with the hips down. Down and down, lift and lift. Down and down, lift and lift. Two more. Down and down, lift and lift, last one, down, and down, hold it here, little pulse, lift, lift, make sure those elbows are extending, let's just turn this music up a fraction, alright, make sure those elbows are extending as you come up, you're not just rocking forward and back with the shoulders, so we go up, up, eight, seven, six, five, you should start to feel a little bit of warmth from the triceps, four more, four, three, to hold it down here. All right, let's look where the fun begins. You can just hold, up to you. Otherwise, we're gonna lift the hips off the floor. Do not let those elbows stretch. Keep them bent. We're gonna lift here. We lift, up and down. Up, lift and lower. Lift and lower. I see you, bend your elbows. Four, three, two, hold. Little pulse to finish. Down. Hips can remain down on the floor if you need it. Absolutely fine. Four, three, two, one. Leg stretch. Hips down. Leg straight. And breathe. Relax the shoulders. All right. We're gonna come all the way down towards uh, our elbows. So we're gonna take it in stages till we get down to the floor. Excuse me. We're going to bring the elbows down towards the floor like we're lying on the beach. If you need 
twisted, come all the way down onto the mat. This is a pretty advanced position, so if it's getting too much for the shoulders, the abs, anything, just lay yourself down on the floor, absolutely fine. All right, while we're here on the elbows, make sure we haven't sunk into the shoulders. We're staying nice and lifted, but we still have this lower back. On the floor, abs coming up towards your nose, so pubic bone towards nose. We're gonna lift one leg off the floor to tabletop. Breathe, exhale, bring the abs down before we lift the other leg up. From here, we're gonna take the toes left down, left, down, and left, down, and left, down, and left. As we let the leg float away, I want you to think of arcing from the knee, all right? So we're going away from the hip joint, and just gonna stay on one leg, keep alternating. We want to go away from the hip joint here. It's not about that toe touching the floor, it's about how far you can take this knee away from the hip without letting that back come with you. Yeah. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Bring the legs back down towards the floor. From here, we have a challenge. You can just lift one elbow off the floor, alternate. This is level one, absolutely fine. Level two, we take the arm forward. Make sure that as you take the arm up, we don't push the weight into the supporting arm. You want to stay as if you still have that arm underneath you. That's level two. Level three. Both hands. And up. Over. And up. And up. And up. Up. And up. Keep those feet anchored on the floor. Four. Three. Two. You're going to hold the last one. Lift it or elbows down or all the way down on your back. Up to you where you wanna work, choose your level. We're gonna come back to those legs, up and off the floor. We go back to those toe flows, down and lift. Down and lift, down and lift, down and lift. Don't be afraid to modify. I've probably got about eight more in me here that I'm gonna to have to modify. Down and lift, four, three, two, Hold your last one, let's see if we can hold. Holding eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, all the way down onto your back. All right, we're gonna come slightly this way. We're gonna bring the hands back behind the head and neck from here. Feet are gonna stay flat on the floor. Nice big inhale here. As you exhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders just a fraction, not very high just until about the tops of your shoulders are off the floor. Look down towards your pubic bone. Take a nice deep inhale. Let that ribcage move, let the belly expand. As you exhale, feel the drop, belly button down into the floor. All right, so we're flexible here. We're not holding everything rigid. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. As you exhale, feel this ribcage close in. Two more. Last one. Now as you exhale, come an inch higher. All right, we're not pulling on the neck, we're supported from the neck here, but it's this rib cage, closing the distance between rib and hip. Belly button to floor, and then lower all the way down. Let's take that a little bit faster. Inhale, lift. I mean, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, a little bit higher. Curve, 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 curve. Think of curving upwards rather than just down into yourself. Curve up and up, over, down, and up and over, and down, up and over, and down. Inhale, up and over, and down. Again, up and over. Put some quality of movement for these crunches. All right, it's not about how many you can do, how fast you can do them. It's about the quality of activation that you're getting. We're working from underneath the abs, not just on this top layer. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Space between chin and chest. Inhale, down. Two more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Last one, hold it up. From here, elbows, stay where they are. Make sure they don't envelop the face. We're gonna twist. Rip cage towards the knee. Now you'll notice I haven't fallen to the side. All right, it's more of a diagonal lift 
between the rib cage and shoulder up to this knee and this hip here. Come back to center. It's a twist side to side. Then twist and lift. Back to center. Do not lower yourself down. Keep that high engagement that you've created. So we lift and twist. Twist, center. It's teeny, it's tiny. Lift, center. You can do this, but you're not doing anything. All right, so don't worry about how far to the side you're going. Worry about high, how high up you're coming. Lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down. You've got four more. Three, two, last one. And relax. That's level one. You can always come back to your foundation. Level two. Legs off the floor. You know where we're headed with this. We're headed to our bicycle with this one. So when we do our bicycle, which is an extension of the leg with one leg staying bent, we don't want to bring this knee in. I want you to keep it over the hip. All right? I want you to focus on the extension, opening to the back of the leg. And back. Let's just take a couple here. And back. Open. And back. Reach. At the same time, you're pushing your abs down towards the floor. All right, you don't want to have this lift in the back. If you cannot achieve this, toe flips. All right, this is your modification. This is where you can move. This is where you can work. All right, just because you can't stretch your leg doesn't mean you're not getting a quality workout. Listen to your body. You've got four more. Four, three, two, last one. All right, come back up to tabletop. We lift, head, neck, and shoulders. Again, this is optional. You do not have to. Lower down if you're feeling it in your back or your neck. We're going to twist. I want your shoulder to your knee, not your knee to your chest. Back to center. Stay high. Twist. Center. Slow and steady does it. And center. Shoulder working, not elbow. Center. Over. Center. Over. Center. Over. If you can, speed it up. Over, 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 over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Oh, hello, Tom. See a little cramp on the foot there? All right. We're going to come back <coughs> to our feet flat on the floor. I lie. Our legs are going to go straight. If you need a modification, one knee can be spent and one leg is stretched. If you want that work, both legs are stretched. Hands are going to come back behind the head and neck. Make sure your head is supported. All right, if my hands wasn't here, weren't here, my head would fall back to the floor. So there's no tension here. All right, nothing. I'm nice and relaxed. From here, we're going to lift one leg to the ceiling. Lower down. And lift. Focus on stretching this knee. It's not about how far back you can bring it, it's about how much stretch you can get for this back knee. Down, lift, a little bit faster. Down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. If you want more work, this is level one. Level two, add that crunch. Down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Of course, you have the option. Just extend one leg, here, all right, that's your option, down, lift, down, level three, we twist, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, four more, three, two, you're going to hold the last one lifted, from here, pulse lift, just the upper body, leg is stretched, Four, three, hold the upper body, leg, in, in, in. If it's a knee, that's fine. Four, three, two, change on the side. Lift and pulse. Lift, 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 lift. Rip cage up. Four more. Four, three, two, hold, leg, in, 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 in. Four, three, two, one. And arms overhead. Breathe up. Take a stretch here. Hello. Up and relax. 
One more. We're gonna go to arms now. All right. Let's do a quick push-up series. No bar class is ever complete without it. And then a nice stretch at the end. All right. Tell yourself down if you're anything like me. Okay. Push-ups, push-ups, push-ups. You have options, as always. Options, options, options. We are gonna target the chest and the shoulders a little bit for this one, so to make the arms a little bit wider than in line with the shoulders. Slightly, slightly turn the fingers in. They're not completely faced towards one another, but just a slight internal rotation. Options. Option number one. We are on a diagonal plan, all right? So our shoulders and our hips are still in line with one another here. It's like when we came, we started with our normal plan here, we just lengthen the arms. So we still have the arms, uh, excuse me, the abs on. Option number two is in a full plank position here. I will not be taking that. Feel free to do it yourself. All right. From here, elbows in line with the, with the wrist. We come down, left and left. We work from the chest. All right, we're not working from the nose and the neck. Keep those abs pulled up. Down, down. Slow and steady does it. Down, down, left, left, down, down, left, left, two more, down, down, left, left, last one. Let's go eight, a little bit faster. Down, left, seven, left, six, left, breathe, exhale at the top, four, three, two, hold it down, little pulse to finish. Up, 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 four, three, two, one, and press back. Take a nice child's pose here. Let's change the music. Let's take a stretch. Stretch the lower back. From here, lift that hip. Glide down to the floor. So now use having this arched back here. Alright, so pull up slightly from the pelvis. If you want a little bit more, take the same arm up the top and reach out. Don't just sit into the hip. Reach out, stay active. If you want a little bit more work, take the back leg up. See if we can grab a hold of that leg. If you can, push the foot into the hand, down towards the floor. And relax. Send the hips back, flex the front leg. I want you to lift the chest. 
chest, not curve the spine, just on the left. Send your hips back, open the sit bones away from this front foot. Ooh, hello calves, hello hamstrings. Nice flat back. this leg over and then come down for a nice hip and a glute stretch here if you need to bring the leg in absolutely fine I want you to bring this hip down towards the floor and then walk yourself out as far as feels comfortable for you and breathe through a little flow here. If you wish, we're going to come into a split. If you need to, come a little bit higher up and work your way down. Listen to your body. Don't push it. But if you can, come into your split. Take a moment here. Oh, it's been a while. Relax into it. right knee back in, keep the left leg extended. We're going to stretch out for this lower back and the side of the back here, over the side, over the top. Now try to stay nice and square here and reach the arm out, don't just let the hand, let arm hand passively take that reach. Come all the way back up and over the other side. Coming into that lunge position. Shoulders over hips. Bring that pelvis forward. Really find my next scoop. Even before we start moving, I've got this nice stretch here for the hip flexor. Keep that and then just sink into it a little bit more. Not a big movement, not a big range of movement. If you want a little bit more, lift out of the hip to come over the top. If you want that little bit more quad stretch, lift that back leg up. See if you can grab a hold. If you can, push the arc of the leg towards the floor into your hand. Deepens that stretch with the quad. And relax. Take it as long as you want. Take a nice stretch back here. Flex the foot. Send the hips back. Open the chest. Flat back here. And then we hinge from the hips. into that split. Coming back to any one of these stretches before if you'd rather do that. Otherwise we come into our split position. Oh, this looks a little bit tighter. And coming all the way back 
onto the sit bones, bring the left knee in, open the right leg up, take the arm up to the ceiling and over the top, and I'll just sit passively into your bones here, open up. legs if that's more comfortable, or feet together, take a nice stretch forward, take a nice roll back for the shoulders, forth and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. My name was Tarina. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please feel free to get in touch or comment below on the video link and I'd be happy to answer any questions. If you'd like to see anything else, if you'd like to see different exercises or different equipment, please feel free to, feel, feel free to ask me for any recommendations. I'd be happy to make another video for everyone. Thanks so much.